Maxing an old school RuneScape takes an incredible amount of dedication. We're talking about several thousand hours for most players in exchange for a super sick five second emote. That's what I call a good deal. But you also get one of the most prestigious items in the game, the Max Cape. And this comes with some pretty awesome benefits worthy of spending your time maxing. Or at least so you'd think. But unfortunately, after being maxed myself, Max, by the way, I've realized that all of these benefits are total garbage and we need to revamp this cape. So join me as I go through all of the crap benefits that I've gotten for maxing and my ideas on how to fix this cape so it can actually be useful. All right, first things first, let's go through some of the teleports. Now, starting off with Tele to POH, this is going to bring you to your own player own house, basically a house tab. But this is stupid because I'm already 99 construction. And I literally can't think of like a single reason why I would ever need to come to my house. Like I've already trained up to 99. What would I ever come back here for? This is pretty stupid. But even more insulting than teleporting to your own house is these POH portals where you can go to the portals where you don't even have a house. Like why would I show up at some random house portal and not even be able to go in? I'm never going to use this shit. It's so stupid. Okay, okay, so the POH teleport's pretty useless, but there's some other teleports on this cape, right? Warrior's Guild? That one could be good, and honestly, I guess this one is semi-useful. It's probably one of the better ones on the capes. It is very accessible for you to come over here, and if you need to stock up on potions, it's uh, pretty nice. You can get strength, attack, and defense, so one of the better teleports on the cape, can't lie. When it comes to fishing teleports, you've got the Fishing Guild. Eh, kind of decent. I guess if I want to just go barehand some sharks, it is uh, pretty close to the teleport point. So fastest way in the game I know of to get sharks. I guess that one is all right. Otto's Grotto. I don't know when I would use this. I don't know the last time I've made a Hosta. Don't know about you, but pretty worthless in my eyes. The Crafting Guild. Uh, when's the last time you went to the Crafting Guild? Oh boy, a pottery oven. Yeah, um, it's pretty garbo in my opinion and then you've got the other teleports oh boy maybe there's hope left chinchampa teleports and the farming guild don't need chinchampas 99 hunter farming guild 99 farming what am i gonna do there these are all useless we need to figure out some better teleports to put onto this cape luckily i do have some ideas stick around for that but let's go through some of the other perks real fast as well Another one some people claim is useful, spellbook swap five times a day. You can go to any spellbook you want, but let's be honest, why would you ever leave Lunars? That's the one that lets you bake pies. Therefore, you know I stay parked on it 24-7, no exceptions, never spellbook swapping. Don't use that one, stupid, yet again. Now, there are a couple smaller little benefits I didn't go over, like it'll light up dark areas for you, but that's the same thing as the fire making cape. Or you could get into the Cooking's Guild without a chef's hat, which, to be honest, that is pretty sick. But again, same thing as the cooking cape. So I could just haul around these 23 capes with me, and there's basically no drawback there. I'd still have five free inventory spaces to do whatever I wanted. So combining these things into one max cape, it doesn't really offer me anything new or useful. So you see what I'm getting at here? The max cape, it needs something a little different, a little special. So now, Let's look at what I would do to fix this cape. Now, a few times during this video, you've seen this little menu pop up of the different options on the max cape. We can leave the useless ones if we want, but I propose we add one new item just right at the top and we call it like stuff that's actually good. You know, that's a working title. M maybe useful uses. Yeah, that'll work too. You know, whatever we want to call it, just slide it up top and give that a little numerical option, just like the POH portals, and add some numbers there where we have a few good things going on. Now, first off, we of course have to add a teleport to Thurgo. I'm tired of during my farming runs after I plant everything and have to wait the 70 minutes when I go and chill with Thurgo and just stare at him for those 70 minutes. I have to run all the way to his hut from the fairy ring teleport. It's very inconvenient, so I would enjoy being able to get there directly. 
Okay, for the second option on my numerical list, the number two button would be similar, but different teleport Thurgo to me. That way, if you do have to leave the hut at any point, he can come out there with you. He could follow you around, even like this sick little uh, pupidile is following me right now. Now, between those two options, you've already got yourself the most useful item in the game. You don't necessarily need more, though I do have some other ideas to round it out. Number three, Spawn Twisted Bow. Now this one could be potentially overpowered, so maybe it only works in certain areas, like, I don't know, let's say the Farming Guild, uh, that would give you a reason to actually use that teleport. You could just go there, the option would be enabled, and you could spawn it, I don't know, let's say once a minute. For the fourth option, I think maybe something like Crash This World Server could be cool. Now you could definitely argue that this doesn't need to be a skill cape perk because it's automatically going to happen every 5 to 10 minutes. I get that, but it'd be cool to do it on command. Someone's crashing you or whatever, you basically just DDoS them. That'd be a sick perk. Number five would, of course, be Contact Mod Ash directly. Let's be honest, that guy doesn't seem like he has too much on his plate. He could use a little more to do. And honestly, if you're looking for any sort of support or answers, he is literally your only hope. So at this point, you've maxed, you've earned a spot in the fast lane on getting a hold of him. Number six, touch grass. Just do it. Number seven is going to be get laid. Please add this one. If it's not an option on the max cape, I'm pretty sure it's just never going to happen. So that'd be cool. The number eight option is gonna be enter prestige mode. If you select this one, you're gonna reset all of your stats right back to level one where you began, but don't worry, in exchange you will get absolutely nothing except for one more custom class. Sounds like a good deal in my eyes. That's it for my suggestions. Obviously you could go all the way up to number nine here, but we're gonna let the democratic process rule on number nine. Let me know in the comments of this video what you think would round out that list to really make it worth grinding out 2277 in total. If you did enjoy the video, leave it a like. Hopefully this will get some traction and Jagex will see it and implement all of my changes without a poll. You know, in that scenario, we won't let the democratic process rule. When it comes to making changes to this game, only I know best, so we should just do what I say. Absolutely, no questions asked. Other than that, thank you for watching, as always, and I will see you in the next one.